Hi Aries, so I'm going to get straight into your reading. If there's anything that you feel that you need to know, including the card decks I'm using, then you can find all of that information in my descriptions box and it's in my pinned comments below. And cross watchers, please remember that you can switch the roles as well. Also Aries, happy birthday. I hope you're having a wonderful time and I hope that you're being um, spoilt rotten. <laughs> Right, Aries Collective, please, for April. Ooh. Ooh, 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 come to the edge. This is the energy of the fool, okay? It says, courage, taking a leap of faith, overcoming fears and accepting risks. So any risks that might be associated with this new thing, then you're fully prepared to, um, to take that on. Facing the unknown, allowing yourself to be truly seen. So with this one, you're no longer hiding, Aries. Um, you, you're no longer hiding what it is that you want to do. You're no longer hiding your, your intent. Um, you, you're being loud and proud right now. And it's a really, really refreshing energy. And it's like, do you know what? Yeah, there's this new mindset that you've taken on. And I really do like it because it's... F what anyone else thinks, right? You're going to be loud and proud. And if anyone doesn't like it, that's their problem. That's not on you. Wow. Okay. Um, I have had this deck for, what, maybe a year and a half, maybe two years. I've never seen this card come out. Ever. Never, never, never. Like, for real, this card has never, ever come out. It's milk and honey, the taste of prosperity, opportunities born of authenticity, nurturing abundance, and your needs are being met. Wow, you're vibing really, really differently, Aries. Really differently. This is lovely. This is really, really nice. Aries, you're coming into something quite big here. Um, but listen, this isn't just through pure chance, okay? This isn't just a random lucky strike. Uh, uh, uh. No, no, no. This is your hard work and your dedication paying off. This is the universe giving you a pat on the back for a job well done. And that, that would explain this newfound confidence with this card as well. Uh, you feel that you're ready to take on the world. You feel that you're ready to take on the challenge. Um, I'm feeling, Aries, that right now you're unstoppable. You're absolutely unstoppable. There is nothing that you cannot achieve. Nothing. You've taken your power back. A hundred percent you've taken your power back. This is really, really nice. Wow. Some of you are currently making plans for the future as well and you're feeling really, really excited because it feels now like you're getting closer to, um, to being able to do the things that you want to do for your future. It's really nice. And it's not false hope as well. This is hope that has stemmed from something tangible that is coming towards you so like there's you've received some kind of tangible evidence that things are going to start getting better um, you've received something tangible for some of you this could be extra finances that is going to help you uh, to to put towards your future it's really nice i know i keep saying that but wow i love seeing this for your reading aries right First card out, Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, wish granted. This is Pisces energy. Uh, this, this is happiness. Um, this is you validating yourself. This, this is you, <laughs> you're, you're uh, making plans, obviously, for your future, as we've already said. This is a dream come true. Wow. It's for Aries, please. Knight of Wands. This is an interesting one, Sagittarius energy. So the Knight of Wands is one of the most misunderstood cards in tarot, depending on what other cards come out with it. Because it's come out with the Nine of Cups, I can tell you straight away, this, this Knight of Wands is a really, really good energy, really nice. This is you going against the grain, all right? That's why he is the most misunderstood card, one of the most... Um, 
as you'll know, there are several, but I think this one gets a bad rap where it's not necessarily needing to, okay? Um, yes, it can be the energy of a player, someone who is moving quickly, maybe too quickly, someone who is in and out of your life, someone who's fickle, someone who's just looking for adventure, right? It's more often than not associated with a player. Uh, th this is not about a player. This is categorically not. The Knight of Wands traditionally is someone who goes against the grain. The Knight of Wands is someone who uh, bets on a, an unfavourable horse. You know, they, they place bets on losing ponies with the knowledge that that horse is going to win because they, they've received some kind of information that nobody else is privy to, Aries. This is your energy. This is your energy. This is a burst of confidence, a burst of energy. Um, things are finally moving. For some of you, this can pertain to a physical move as well. Some of you could have been waiting for um, confirmation of like a dream house or something coming through. And at one point it was looking a bit hairy and it was looking like it was going to fall through your fingers. When in actual fact, it's, it's, it's come through, uh, you know, at the last minute. Th this is very much at the 11th hour vibe, okay? Um, wishes being granted at the very last minute for you, Aries. So if you're in that mindset of currently giving up on whatever this hope, wish or dream is that you have, don't give up now and now is really not the time for you to um f for you to lose sight of your bigger picture all right not with this combination this is absolutely fantastic you might find that you have to defend yourself um against the shitty opinions of others again knight of wands um it, it's all about that going against the grain energy uh being a rebel that's what you're good at that that's um that's your thing <laughs> being the rebel when someone sits there and tries to plant seeds of doubt in your head you know better and on this particular occasion yeah you're being vindicated because guess what you did know better you absolutely did know better wow it's for aries please This isn't something that's been done on a whim either. Uh, with that dolphin, this is something that you've decided uh, through utilizing your intelligence. And then you've got the Knight of Cups. It's more Pisces energy. Something that makes your heart and soul sing with joy. Yeah, for some of you, th this can be pertaining to a romantic offering, but not for all of you. For the most part, this is incredible news that, that you've been needing. You know, you've been needing this lift. You've been needing something to, to look forward to. Um, it's, I'm, I'm not able to find the words right now for this energy, but like for real liberation it doesn't even come close this is something else entirely let's see outside influences affecting Aries please oh two of cups interesting cancerian energy for some of you this can pertain to a brand new business partnership and for others of you this will be about a brand new relationship like a romantic relationship it's very 50-50, so, uh, I mean, you should be using your own intuition anyway whenever watching any tarot. Um, you'll know what this is applying to in your life. You'll know. Moving up a level, though, for certain. In fact, with your particular energy, Aries, you're moving up several levels. Five of Swords, Aquarian energy. Okay, so that is someone who is in it to win it. And, ooh, the eight of coins. Sun in Virgo energy. Wow. Um, okay. <laughs> Aries. Whether this is a business partnership or whether this is romantic, the energy is still the same okay this is someone who is fighting to prove something to you 
okay that, that it's like it's it's like they were trying to go out of their way to to win you over all right um that they, they were determined that this was going to happen absolutely determined if this is romance this could be pertaining to somebody that you met at work for some of you as well i'm also seeing a job promotion here mm -hmm. a job promotion this five of swords it could be some kind of an exam it could be and if you have taken an exam recently it's saying that you've passed Ooh, ten of coin wow virgo energy the hierophant taurus the ten of wands is sagittarius is two tens and the sun leo wow okay um so again i have to split this because the reading is coming out really really split okay uh for those where this is romance this is a brand new relationship a dream come true everything that you ever wanted in a partnership things being equal balanced fair harmonious uh, just really really beautiful energies you might have lost hope at some point that this particular relationship was ever actually going to get anywhere okay um your person's coming in and you're you're not going to be left sat there questioning any longer about how that particular relationship's going okay <clears throat> i am seeing that that relationship is going to get off the ground quite quickly and it's like you already feel like you're part of a family with that individual for those of you where this reading is about uh, like your finances and your career and your day-to-day -day stuff then it's showing me uh, someone has definitely recently sat an exam and through that exam some kind of promotion is forthcoming okay which it does mean extra finances because you're going from the eight of coins to the ten of coins so there's a, a significant jump in finances here um, and again none of this is to do with luck none of it all of this is purely down to your attitude Aries your attitude your drive to succeed um, you've caught your competitive nature in a lot of ways has also helped you out with this because you've utilized that competitive nature in a really healthy and balanced way which is absolutely beautiful I mean most people when they say the word competition straight away it's got an, a, like a, a negative connotation that's attached to that and I always say, listen, there is nothing that is 100% positive or 100% negative in this world. Nothing. Everything has to be about balance, all right? Yes, you might have certain traits, like baseline traits that other zodiacs don't have. But you can utilize those traits in a really healthy and beneficial way. And that's literally what I'm seeing in this read, Aries. Your drive to succeed has seen you through whatever difficulties you've recently gone through. It's really, really nice. It's very refreshing. Um, <clears throat> I do see a brand new contract here with this Hierophant and the Ten of Coins. Okay, so make, make certain that if there's any kind of contracts involved that obviously you check double check um get someone who's qualified to check over that sort of thing okay that there is an insinuation here of some kind of legality that is attached to this so make certain that you hire somebody who is qualified to help you with that I'm not seeing anything bad with that particular contract, but it's always good to do anyway, just as like an extra piece of your mind, okay? Um, it, it just really would help to solidify in your mind that, yeah, I do have control over my future. I do have control over this. And there's not gonna be any nasty surprises for you waiting around the corner, okay? It would just help you sleep better at night, basically, to have something double checked and again relationship wise I'm seeing some of you have come face to face with your life partner this is an individual that you will be married to you will be 
and you will be delegating responsibilities out with them and things things will <laughs> this is like a dream reading here Aries the ten of wands usually by itself is a heavy burden it feels like the the world that the weight of the world was on your shoulders and that you had to do everything by yourself however those days are gone because it came out with the sun and the sun is joy hope peace prosperity abundance there would literally be no life on the planet without the sun all right this is the start of a brand new life and you you've got a really really good advocate here whether this is business or romance okay makes no difference as I say the energy the energies work in the same way um, this individual is going to help you in every way possible in that they're, they're going to do everything within their power basically to make certain that you're not shouldering all of this by yourself they want you to feel comfortable with them they want you to trust them and I'm not seeing that they're going to give you any kind of um, excuse not to trust them the energy at the bottom of the deck is the six of swords which is mercury in aquarius energy so that's moving away from the past um working through any kind of emotional baggage that was uh, hanging around in your energy really really paying attention to anything that triggers you as well and um I, I hate that word triggered it's just so patronizing isn't it um but yeah anything that triggers like a kind of a remote emotional response you're working through and it's like you're finding the root causes for anything that really pisses you off and you're taking back your power a hundred percent you're taking back your power four of swords under their libra energy yeah understanding uh, when to fight and when to rest understanding what's worth fighting for and what you should walk away from this is so healthy it's so balanced it's peaceful you found your center Aries this is incredible wow um, yeah when I said happy birthday at the start of your reading Aries um, I guess this is my birthday gift from me to you right <laughs> amazing reading it's for Aries please this is your time to shine Aries it's Aries please ooh 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 believe in the impossible what blue moon yeah once in a blue moon your positive affirmation is I'm lucky it says you're about to get a rare chance uh, miss this chance and it might not come back anytime soon what happened may only happen the once the person that you're inquiring about is a rare find if you can believe it then you can achieve it and the situation's unlikely to repeat wow Aries this is absolutely incredible you'll you'll have to let me know what this is because as I say this read is really 50 50 for some of you this is career and finance and for the other half this is love and romance like straight up you're a rare find Aries you're being viewed as a rare find somebody either romance partner or business partner is not gonna allow you to slip through their fingers it's just not an option it's not an option you're a rare find oh that was a really really bad shuffle it's for Aries please thank you mother earth that's like empress energy 
So please do remember as well that the cards in tarot are not gender specific, okay? It doesn't make a difference if you uh, identify as feminine, masculine or gender fluid. Tarot is for everybody, right? It's just the energies. Um, I do believe that's number 22, a balanced number. 22 is also an angel number as well. So you might want to look up the meaning of uh, 222. You could be seeing a lot of 222 at this time. Okay, so I always say that you get three messages that come with, the, with these cards, right? Your first message comes from the creator of the deck. Your second and most important message comes from your own intuition while you're looking at the card. And then your third message comes from your reader and their intuition. Right, so it says, the trees are our lungs, the rivers our circulation, the air is our breath and the earth is our body. And that's a quote from Deepak Chopra. Right, your heart is open and your intentions are pure. Know that you're being guided and nurtured by Mother Earth herself. She embraces you with her beauty and wisdom in all that you do. She reminds you of your light through the illuminating stars, your beauty through her flowers, your sacred knowledge and balance through her trees. Nature guides you in every facet of your life. If you've picked this card, then Mother Earth calls out to you in love. Earth Guardian, you're being called to assist humanity in remembering its divine connection to nature. Now is the time to express and share your creativity and wisdom even further. It is through the sharing of your love and talent that others will be inspired to journey to deeper realms within themselves. Transformation and the healing of the earth starts within every human being. The earth simply reflects our inner state. We're all part of the one consciousness expressing it in its many forms. When we die, our body dissolves into the earth, which then nourishes the soil, which then feeds the trees and plants, forever weaving, never adding or subtracting in this cosmic connected dance of life. If humanity can focus on healing and nurturing the worlds within themselves, the earth will come to reflect their higher vibrational energy and light. Your work, Earth Guardian, is to assist others to remember their true divine selves and to reconnect to the natural world. Do what you came here to do. Shine your light, walk your walk, and do all of this with continued truth and integrity. And the positive affirmation that comes with this card is, I am dissolving into the oneness of all that is. And the associated chakras that come with this card is the heart chakra, throat chakra, third eye, and the crown chakra. Wow. So my intuitive message from this card for you, Aries, the, the first one's obvious. Uh, some of you might be taking on some kind of humanitarian work, okay, or, or helping out at some kind of like a nature reserve or something like that. The other message is straight away, I was like, that's the Empress energy. That's growth, healing, prosperity, abundance, nurturing as well. So you're embracing more of your internal divine feminine energies. And remember, we've all got DM and DF energies within, within ourselves, okay? It's just how we utilize those two energies and how we keep them balanced out. So, so very much so, whether, whether, you, uh, wh whether you identify as a feminine or masculine, it makes no difference. Right now, you're in this very, very abundant, nurturing and receptive mindset. Some of you are healers as well, natural healers. And this is really interesting. <clears throat> There's someone who is looking up to you, Aries, as a really good example to follow. They have seen everything that you've been through, all of your hardships, just everything, okay? They, they have seen it all and they have seen how you carried yourself through this. They have seen how you conducted yourself through the, the really, really bad times. And they, they look at you now and they're like, wow, Aries, do you know, what? I need to be a lot more like Aries here because... Aries took that on like it was like it was nothing. Okay, it wasn't nothing for some of you. You've been through really soul destroying situations. It's the way that you handled yourself that is 
you're vibing a lot differently and you're being a really, really good example to those around you as well. Uh, and for some of you, you're actually utilizing your, your past experiences in a really positive way because you're actually helping to heal others through the past experiences that you've been through because you've got that knowledge, you've got that experience, that life experience to back up any advice that you pass on to those that you recognize are going through that exact same thing. Natural healer is really, really nice. Wow. It's <clears throat> the Aries Collective, please. Ooh, okay. Right. Brilliance, discover your sparkle, brings change and transformation, encourage wiping the slate clean and starting again, assist with healing, releasing fear and anxiety, recharges and brings back your sparkle, washes away negativity. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's what you've been meditating on. You've been meditating on working through your fears, your anxieties. Um, you, you've been wiping your slate clean, basically, and then you've got bronze, strengthen your body. Okay, so you've done a lot of um, internal work on yourself and they're saying, okay, that's absolutely fantastic. You, you found your sparkle again, you found your light again, you're showing your light to the world, brilliant. Please don't forget about your physical body as well, because that meat suit, it still needs taken care of, okay. And this one says, inspire strength, wisdom, and love. It helps you to get, what? It helps you to get promotions. Uh-huh. What? I can't make this up. It helps you to get promotions. I don't know if you can read my handwriting. It's bloody shocking. Uh, brings wealth into your life and attracts the right people to your business. Aids in successful negotiations teaches you to trust your instincts and it breaks destructive emotional patterns, releases fears, anxieties and negative thoughts. So it may be wear something that's made of bronze or uh, wear like a bronze coloured something uh, just to help you to reflect on, just to encourage more of that energy um, or when you meditate meditate on the color bronze Th this is a meditation deck so yeah wow this is really really good aries you should be very proud of yourselves that's amazing i think this is like the best read that i've ever ever done for you it's aries please To her, safe and happy travel, protection from harm when journeying. I did see that some of you were traveling with that uh, Knight of Wands energy. So Aries, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> let's let's do it then. Labyrinth. Uh, transition to a higher level of being. Yeah, you don't say. Raising your energetic vibration and enlightenment is just clarifying. You read, it's saying, look, yeah, that this tarot, it has been read correctly. That's what happens when you get repeating messages out. It's really reinforcing those messages. Um, and for those who are feeling, oh, th this isn't my read, th this isn't resonating for me, give it time. Give it time, Aries, because this is coming. This is very much really, really active in your energy. I can feel that energetic boost that, that you're getting from this. Achievement, win the award, accolade or contract. <laughs> and honestly, you can't make it up. Breaking bad habits, self-acceptance, excellent mental health and letting go of vices. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing the initials A, M, W, T, R, I, and H. 
self-confidence, strong self-belief and a sense of self-worth. Absolutely. Yep. So if you feel that you're not quite there yet, Aries, keep going. Keep going because this is what's going to meet you right around that corner. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with my channel or the Rebel Deck, I do have to give a warning. The Rebel Deck can be quite sweary, quite brutal and blunt. It's not everybody's cup of tea, okay? So obviously if you're not into that sort of thing, you should probably switch out now because um, it, it can get like really close to the bone. Right, eat your fucking vegetables. Eat some shit made by Mother Nature. Yeah, um, that's the second message, Aries, that you've had out about your physical body. Um, some of you might might be missing out on um, sunlight, vitamin D. Uh, uh, obviously, given like the global situation, depending on where you live, vitamin D is going to be really, really difficult to to come by. Um, I mean, certainly in Britain. The sunlight, they're like, what's that? Um, yeah, vitamin D, if, if you feel that you're not getting enough vitamins, seek the advice of a professional, okay? Some of you absolutely are missing out on vital vitamins um, that come from fresh fruit and veg, all right? But vitamin D and vitamin C are the main ones that they're, sh they're shouting at me, D and C, so... Take a closer look at your, your physical body's needs. Get over yourself, pull your shit together, help people give back, do good shit for humanity. You are. You, you literally are. This is a refusal to, to wallow in self-pity. Don't fucking force it. Allow that shit to come to you. Yeah, you have been. You have absolutely been embodying your... Uh, as I say, your internal divine feminine energy, which doesn't chase. <clears throat> that energy works hard. They're very, very proactive for what it is that they want. But then they, they don't chase it. They, they work on it. They release it back up to the universe. And then it's attracted back in towards them. That's the secret to abundance. Right, just for a laugh, I do have another <clears throat> dodgy deck here. This one is called, I can't remember, I think it was the, the, the Gallic. It's a little Celtic deck, basically. It's a very old Scottish and Irish sayings. Some of them you might not find are appropriate because they're a little bit too edgy, especially in this day and age. But let's do this for a laugh. Okay. He who is not strong must be clever. <laughs> So if you feel that you're lacking physically, then you absolutely do make up for it in intellect. A good start is half the work. Yeah. Um, if anyone here is a, like a builder or a painter and decorator or anything like that, you'll understand that preparation is key. Preparation is everything. Absolutely. And you have prepared Aries. You, you've earned this. You have earned this by yourself and you deserve a, a holiday, a pat on the back. That This is happening. Fantastic. What an amazing read for you, Aries. So yeah, I'll say again, happy birthday. Um, that is what I have for you, Aries. So if you'd like to book a private reading with me, then the link to do so is in the descriptions box and it's in the pinned comments below. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a lovely week. Well, you definitely will have a lovely week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.